at a young age, right out of high school, I wanted to work outside, I wanted to work inside, I wanted to be part of a business, and I wanted to travel. And the wine industry gave me an opportunity to do all those. If I went to UC Davis, that is probably the most preeminent winemaking school in California. And then after that, it was get some work experience, save up some money, load up a backpack, and then go travel around the world making wine. Gaining valuable experience on how they do it in other winemaking communities. And I spent the next five years building a winery in Portugal. Then after that, it was time to settle down again and came back to California where I focused on sparkling wines. The writing was on the wall in Napa that if you wanted to play the game at a high level here, Cabernet was the game to play. And that's when I decided to look and come to Frank Family Vineyards. Todd's ability to know when to start each phase, what's the best match between a given grape and a barrel, how long to keep it in a barrel, what bottle to put it in, is the art in making the wine. One of the best parts of my job is walking vineyards in the summer and the fall. I get a kick out of walking with my dog in the morning and I do have to give him some decision making so he gets to pick the rows that we walk down. So the ones he chooses, I follow. It's not like you're just whistling and skipping along. Your head's usually thinking of what's happening today, what's gonna happen tomorrow, what's happening next week, when this vineyard is looking to be ready to pick. There's a real alchemy to winemaking, and Todd is a magician. Todd just has this special ability, the sixth sense for how to create amazing wine. In Napa Valley, harvest usually starts in September and goes through October. We're under Mother Nature's schedule. We're picking the grapes at their optimum level of ripeness, and that could be any day of the week, any time of the day and all hands on deck to get the wines made in the tanks. The fermentation process is some of the most exciting time of the year. The fermentation usually lasts about two weeks and that's our time. That'd be like a chef making a dish. Even though that Cabernet Sauvignon may live with you in the barrel for two years, 90% of your winemaking decisions may happen in that first two weeks. Sparkling wine is a fascinating process. It's very detail oriented. So you make a base wine, which is like other winemakings, but then you have to do a secondary fermentation in the bottle. We age our sparkling wines at least three years, if not longer. Then we do a riddling process, a disgorging process, which usually takes about five years from vineyard to consumer for our sparkling wines. Red winemaking has the potential to be the most complex winemaking. The wines are a little fuller, richer bodied. You're extracting flavor from the skins, some of the seeds potentially. You have a lot of opportunity to macerate the skins, temperature change, making more complex wines. White wines here at Frank Family is Chardonnay, and we do it in a very delicate process, removing the juice as quickly and when it's as cold as possible and getting it to barrel as soon as possible. And rosé is kind of the combination, almost white wine style with a little color. Blending would probably have to be the most exciting part of my job. Taking wines from different vineyards or even a single vineyard and following it through its whole process and ideally coming out with a better wine at the end than what you started with. Putting a group together, kind of like a baseball team. He knows his wines. He just has a knack for making consistent, balanced wines from year to year. 